on Manahiki now. It's uh, interesting to see how each of these northern Cook Islands uh, differ from one another. Each one seems to be so different. Uh, yeah, this place is beautiful. I like it. My buddy Tim Welch comes here for bone fishing apparently, fly fishing. It's fantastic. Each one of these islands has an awesome hydroponic setup. I mean, this is enough to feed the entire village of like 60 people. And they, over there, there's a big solar station as well. So, I mean, they got free energy and free access to food. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. It's all you really need. Good setup. And it's my dream off the grid kind of thing to do on a beautiful island like this. Manahiki. We moved over to the re more remote, less inhabited side of Manahiki. The other village is way down that way where we were anchored out yesterday and we moved this morning over here. Anyways, lots of it's abandoned because apparently there's a really bad hurricane that wiped out nearly everything and lots of people left. And there's a bunch of like little floating villages out in the center of the lagoon that were once used by pearl farmers. but. Had nice generators and everything out there, the guy was saying, and, and everything just got completely wiped out. So, almost everyone kind of moved away. So, there's this weird, desolate feeling to this these towns, but they are beautiful. Like, such a nice, simple, excellent lifestyle here. I mean, I love this place. This has got to be one of the cutest, most quaint villages I've ever seen. It's probably the most peaceful village there is in the world. It's kind of got like an old island western feel to it, interestingly enough. I'm making my way back to the ship now. I have no water and I feel like I'm getting freaking heat stroke out here. It's so hot. But I know now. If I really want to drop off the face of the earth and still have the comfort of 21st century, the Northern Cook Islands is a good place to do it. Beautiful. 